Good evening, everybody. Local high school track and field teams will gather on in Spearfish on Friday for the annual Queen City Classic. Douglas is counting on Jack Winter to deliver a big performance. Andrew Lynn takes a closer look at our Gustafson Builders Athlete of the Week. Douglas senior sprinter Jack Winter may have only picked up running less than a year ago, but he's quickly earned the respect of his teammates. Last week, Winter was named one of a dozen captains to lead the Patriots this season. Coach Tribby describes him as someone that is going to be out there encouraging you and supporting you and motivating you, not only out on the track during competition, but also during practice times. Leading others is nothing new for the senior. Winter grew up in a military household with a father who served in the Marines for two decades. And Jack says his dad taught him the importance of servant leadership. Trying to see what you can do for them as a leader and seeing how you can make their lives easier and push them harder to train. A lot of our younger kids really look up to him, which is great to see. Um, our team is very, very young, so um, we're capitalizing on leadership like um, he has shown. It's been hard for the teenager to make friends. He's never been in the same place for more than three years, except for now. This is Winner's fourth year in Box Elder, and he's become close with the rest of the sprinters. I've gotten to know them a little bit, but it's mostly from just through my sister, meeting friends, meeting her friends, then meeting friends of their friends. With the intense work ethic that Winter brings to practice every day, his coaches say he's primed to have a good spring to finish out his senior year. And the sprinter says it's all thanks to them. I like the way she pushes the kids. I like the way she pushes me uh, to do as much as we can, uh, coaching us along the way, not just giving us um, information and then expecting us to do what we can with it. Um, I like how involved she is with us. He's going to see a lot of success. Um, I do foresee him as being one of our top two and 400 runners. Winner and the Patriots are back in action Friday at the Queen City Classic in Spearfish. Reporting in Box Elder, I'm Andrew Land. Thank you very much, Andrew, and congrats to Jack for being our Gustafson Builders Athlete of the Week. Well, we have some more high school sports news for you this evening as Reese New has been hired as the new head coach of the Rapid City Central Volleyball Team. Now, New brings some experience to the job, spending 15 years coaching at the high school and youth levels. New replaces Hope Hammerbeck, who stepped down at the end of this past season. Now, the Cobblers finished this past year with a 6-26 and record. Hey, there's some exciting rush news to tell you about tonight as Ford Blake Bidditt has been named the Howie's Hockey Tape ECHL Rookie of the Month. Bennett certainly turned in an impressive march, scoring 11 goals and racking up seven assists in 14 games. Just last weekend, Bennett registered a hat trick in a game against Dallin and also added a pair of assists for a five point night. Rush is back on the ice this evening as it plays the first of three big games in Idaho. Two weeks left in the uh, regular season, Jack. Rush still with some playoff hopes. They're going to have to play very well, though, and get some help. And they'll look to start that push for the playoffs tonight in Idaho. I'll let you know how that game goes back here tonight at 9 and 10 o'clock. How'd the Twins do today, Vic? Well, the Twins were on the uh, diamond this afternoon. I forgot. I got to look at my score. I got to look at my notes. Twins won. How about that? Twins won the day 7 to 3. They get the win over the uh, Brewers in that border battle interleague series. Lost the game yesterday, so many Minnesota splits the two game series with Milwaukee and uh, the Rockies are taking on the Cubs tonight. That game currently in a rain delay at Wrigley Field. Uh, the Rockies have had a slow start to the season, lost 12 2 last night, but they'll look to get things back on track if they can start that game up at Wrigley tonight. And tennis coming up tomorrow. Yeah, big tennis duel coming up tomorrow. Should be some nice weather. We have the Stevens and Rapid City Christian boys tennis team squaring off. Of course, Stevens always has one of the top double A teams in the state and Rapid City Christian, the defending state champions in Class A. So it should be fun tomorrow as the Raiders and Comets square off. And Andrew was talking earlier about that big track meet on Friday. That's right. Always a big track meet at the uh, Queen City Classic and Spearfish. Going to be a lot of area teams out there, so it should be fun. We'll have uh, highlights of that for you coming up on Friday night. All right. Thank you very much, Vic. Well, the